sad. So full of pain. Got to you. Oh, right, right, like you don't know. Oh, I, I cannot believe I almost fell for this. What? That last song you put on, you were trying to set me up. You thought you could seduce me tonight. S seduce you? Girl, I put that song on uh, to show you that you got another Jones in your life besides tennis, that's all. Oh, you oh. dig music as much as I do. You think I'm really going to buy that, Chad? I mean, what about the low lights, the fire in the fireplace, that look you're giving me like you can see right through my clothes? What? Oh, please! Whoa, 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 you guys. Do I have to send you two back to your corners? You know, I want to get a lot further away from him than just a corner. Teresa, I want to go home right now. What's going on is she thinks I'm a player. Yeah, and you must think I'm a complete idiot. Like I'm gonna fall for your pathetic little game, please. This is a, a complete waste of time. You know, if anybody's leaving here tonight, it's me. Ethan, thanks for everything, all right? But it's been cool while it lasts. Bye. Hey, Thank you. Jack, Jack, slow down, man. What happened between you two? Look, we were just listening to a nice, mellow song, right? But all of a sudden, she just starts going off on me, accusing me of trying to seduce her, man. I don't need this. Are you sure you weren't coming on too strong? I mean, from what I can tell, Whitney's not very experienced around guys. No, 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 man. Look, that's not my style. All right? That girl has got problems. I already got enough of my own as it is. The thing I care about is tennis. That's it. Look, it sounds to me like this was all just a simple misunderstanding. So how about we just let it go for the rest of the evening? Um, I'm not spending another night under the same roof as him. Let me... All right. But we're leaving at the crack of dawn. Deal. So, uh, how about we all turn in? Get a good night's sleep. Have it suit me just fine. I'll take the couch tonight. What are they doing in there? I don't know, man. Beats me. Yo, man, I will never understand the opposite sex. That makes two of us. Hey, man. You and Teresa ought to make a record or a CD or something together, man. I mean, you all sounded great together. She's the one with the voice. Now, I really had no idea she could sing that good. Yeah, well, I mean, she's certainly got something, all right. I mean, and it's not just surface talent either. I mean, it sounds like she... She 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 brought it from like some place deep down inside of her man, you know? Like like she really knows firsthand what it's like to have a broken heart. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Hey well uh Whitney's got an incredible voice. When she started singing, I thought it was the radio. <laughs> She's certainly got natural talent. She just won't admit it. Hey, maybe you should try to influence her to sing. Nah, man, not me. I already got my wrist slapped hard enough once already tonight. Women. Women. <laughs> Can't sleep? Nah. Maybe I'll just go outside for a while. I'll take a walk or something. Um, you think that will get her off your mind? What you talking about, man? Whitney. That's what's keeping you awake, right? You gotta be kidding, man. Look, I got more important things to think about than that prima donna. <laughs> hey, all I said was her name. You know, it's obvious she's gotten on your skin whether you want to admit it or not.
are you still up? I couldn't sleep. That's your excuse. I can't either. I thought some warm milk would help. Do you want some? Nah, nah, no thanks. But, um, Ethan, I mean, I can't speak for him. Is, is he still up? He was a few minutes ago. Why don't you, uh, go ask him? Give you a best shot. Chad, why aren't you lecturing me to stay away from a man who's about to get married to someone else? Is that something that Whitney would do? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, see, that's one of the things that we don't see eye to eye on. Look, when I was back in L.A., I used to hang out with this old cat who used to play the horn, right? And this brother did not have two nickels to rub together, right? But he had him some knowledge. I mean, he'd been around, he'd seen it all, you know what I'm saying? And one time he said to me, he said, Chad, you don't regret the things that you did do when you get to be my age. You just regret the things that you didn't. Catch my drift? Yeah. I think I do. Thanks, Chad. Anytime. <laughs> Too bad I can't follow my own advice. Whitney? Whitney, you okay? Oh, will you get out of here? I don't have any clothes on. Sorry, sorry. I, I heard you fall. What happened? I was going to take a shower, and I left my shampoo in here. I just slipped when I went to get it. Now, will you please leave? I'm gone. You can't even get up by yourself. Look, where's Teresa? She'll help me. Just get her, please. Well, she's busy right now. <sighs> so I'm afraid I'm all you've got. Oh. Now, let me see what you did to yourself. Does it hurt? It, um, it hurts a little bit where I heard it in the avalanche. It's kind of numb. You gonna let me take a look at it or what? Damn. What, what is it? What's wrong with my leg? Just tell me the truth, Chad. What's wrong with my leg? The bandage just slipped off a little, that's all. I just need to replace it. No, I, I can do it. Thanks. You know, why don't you just sit tight, relax, and stop fussing? You, I'd best forget about taking that shower tonight and just get back in the bed. Alright? Okay. Think you can uh, make it back by yourself? Yeah, of course I can. You know, you are one hard headed woman. I can do for you.